today we're looking at the new machine from Aeon Laser. Um, it's been out just over a year now. Um, this is the flagship machine and it's called Supernova. Um, there's a similar machine called the Elite and Bart's going to run through some of the differences between the two. We've been made aware by um, some of our customers and potential customers that there's not an awful lot of information about this great machine on the internet. So we're trying to fill a hole and uh, give you some of the great benefits of running a machine such as this. Now Bart's going to take you through some of the features in just a short moment. So I'm going to hand you over to Bart. So the main difference between Supernova and Elite Nova is two laser tubes. One is glass tube and the new one is RF tube. The RF tube allows you to engrave up to 2000 mm per second, which is five times faster than on the standard Elite Nova. So you said that the um, RF tube is, is brilliant for engraving um, because of its resolution and speed. Um, what, what would you have the glass tube in there as well for? The main reason to have the glass tube is for cutting. You can cut up to 10 millimeters thick of the material. And with the power we have on this laser, you can re keep really nice edge when the machine is cutting in reasonable speed. Is that is 10 millimeters the thickest that you can cut on this no, machine? You can cut you can cut up to 20 millimeter, but when you go, uh, when you're trying to cut something that thick, uh, we recommend to change the lens for 100 millimeter focal length. So that allows you to cut the thicker material. But the standard one we offer here, we recommend to cut up to 10 millimeter per second, 10, 10 millimeter thickness. So we talked about the differences between the Super and the Elite Nova. Obviously, the Super's got the two tubes in it, um, but apart from that, they're the same. Um, what's been redesigned or as a new feature on the two machines? So basically we have new clean pack design. The autofocus was also redesigned, so there is no chance the autofocus gonna catch anything when uh, while it's working. We have built-in chiller and air pump, so the, the, behind the machine you don't have any kind of chassis boxes. We have also uh, redesigned the catch drag. So and every single time when the, someone's gonna work on the laser and you're gonna drop the part, you just you don't need to take the bar out. You can just take the dryer out, pick up the part, drop them. And uh, extraction has been uh, redesigned as well. They built they built here the new fans, so they had to take the smoke out when it's working. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with you through the design one by one. All linear rays and the optics are hidden behind the covers, so that's help to keep them clean from the smoke. As you can see, the autofocus is integrated right now with the nozzle, so that's help. That's help with basically from catching the autofocus on the any kind of parts while it's working. In the panel we have built the fans, so that's how to move the smoke to the other side and clean the, the air there. Also here we have the dryer to take all the parts which fall through. And here we have the laser tubes, on the bottom we have glass laser tube, and on the top we have RF tube. The best thing about those laser tubes, in the software you can choose uh, whatever tube you, want, you like, and the machine gonna switch the laser tubes automatically. So I can see you've got a, a tube coming out there. Um, does that mean there's, a, there's an extractor fan built into it as well? Yes. If you have the extraction fan uh, built inside, it's hide it nice, nicely up there. You have the chiller here and air pump also is hide it there. So that is not, it's not necessary to connect outside air, but if the customer requires, you can, out, you can very easily just connect here. And so what would be the benefit of connecting to an external compressor? Uh, the main one is that uh, you can make clearer cut uh, when you work on the like MDF for example material. It's always better to have a little bit more air up there. Okay, but you've got the you've got the built-in air pump to get you going straight out of the box. Yes. On the supernova we have four way of connect. One, as you see, it's Wi-Fi. The other three is through, through the USB stick, through the Ethernet cable, and from the USB cable. I recommend to use the USB cable because I think it's the fastest way to connect to the, to the machine and also steering the machine through the PC. 
So you can fully control the machine then through through the PC software. Yes. yes. And we're doing that in the Lightroom software.